Sergeant here, the Tranquil Voorschoten, coming with you with a um, throwback Thursday video. I um, kind of want to try that out, doing every Thursday an old deck profile or maybe an old thing that happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! from the past years. So, uh, Bart and I are actually playing a lot of old formats right now, and um, then I say old formats, I mean like year 2005, 6, and 7. And I think that the best way to start is with the 2005 code control, as from the best format and the most skill for format, as many Yu Gi Oh players are actually referring to it. So, this is my Go Control deck. Bart has a really different version of the deck, and maybe it's better than my deck. He is sometimes the winner. But yeah. Um, let's get into the deck profile. It's um, quite standard for some parts. So, you got your one Black Lost Soldier, one Jinzo, and one Air Knight. Um, yeah, and these are actually standard, standard high-level monsters you play in this deck. You could run the Phoenix, uh, say Phoenix of Nephis, but I dropped it again, and uh, I, I, I was going back. I'm going back. I return to this build. Then the, my MVP normal summoning guy, the Breaker, really good guy, strongest monster in, the game, in my opinion to normal summon first turn, uh, alongside with. The our universe. Then you got the double Tsukiyomi to get rid of really a, a lot of problems. Um, for example, five size restrict or an, um, a set card that you can get rid of. So you activate this card, set it, and then double man it. So it's really one of the combos actually was used. Uh, then uh, once again, search out almost every card in your deck. Uh, I also put in back one the, the Spirit Reaver. I switched it for the Big Shoot Gardener and try it out for some times. But I prefer actually a monster that can be destroyed to a battle and has the ability to actually let your opponent discard a card. Then a 2600 wall, and when it gets targeted by a spell card while in face in the defense position, it gets flipped face up. This is what Big Shoot Gardner does. When it's when he's face on defense and he gets targeted by a, a spell card like Noel Man, he puts himself face up, so it's really fun to use. And I am trying out the Cyber Jar right now uh, because it's a really good card. But um, yeah, trying it out. I maybe have resolved it like two times, which is, which is really good actually. But yeah. Then, for your light aspect of the deck, I put in one Asura Priest, uh, one Didi Warrior Lady, and Double Magician of Fate. I wish I did run the Blade Warrior, if I'm correct if his name is. Blade Warrior, or Blade... Slate Warrior, Blade Man, Blade Knight... Maybe Blade Knight or Blade Warrior, that's 1600 monster. Um, but I can't find any room for it, because... Uh, the main reason I want to put it in the deck is because it's a light monster, but yeah. Then, your non-light, non-dark monsters are the best card in the deck. The Tribe Injection Virus, the Sinister Serpent, and I running one DD Salient. Maybe this card can go for the Blade Warrior Blade Knight. But I like his effect of vanishing cards. And this is a 17-on attacker, which is really strong. So yeah. Uh, I think there's 16 or 70 monsters for your spells. I have triple scapegoats. Uh, some builds and Bart are running two. I like three. Nothing to say about it. I may be in one of the most important cards in the deck because this card lets you make 1000 dice restrict. I also run two instead of three metamorphoses. Um, and that's a do because it's kind of cloggy, and you can return it to your hand with Magician of Fate if you want to. Uh, then, uh, Trinity, Duel uh, not Duality, the Link with Duo, Pot of Greed, and a Great Charity. So, you, yeah, 
strong at cards in the deck. There for some doubles, you got two Nova Man of Crossout and two Book of Moon. Really strong cards. And then for your equip cards, one Snatch Steel and one Premature Burial. Yep, this is the reason why you keep on that MST. You want to MST these. Yeah, yes, the MST these. Yeah. And then for your back row removal, you got your one Heavy Storm and one Mystical Space Typhoon. Also, you have to keep them for a big place. Then for your traps, I think I run a different trap lineup than everyone else because I run seven traps. I run the Ring of Destruction, really good card. Ceasefire, like the burn. Mirror Force, Dust Tornado, Call of the Haunted, Magic Cylinder, and a Torrential. And I think people are not running the Tornado and the Ceasefire, but I like him. This is a counter against flip effects, and this is another MST you can actually play multiples of. So yeah, this is the main deck. Uh, I think it's quite solid. So yeah. Then we, the extra decks are actually 15 cards. That is what Bart and I are actually doing, and any other guy I'm playing goats against. Um, so yeah, the extra deck are triple five size restricts, strongest card in the game, strongest card in this deck. It wrecks everything. Sometimes I want to add uh, that Fairy Meteor Crush and equip to this guy, but I think I don't have a Fairy Meteor Crush. So what Fairy Meteor Crush does is you can equip it to a monster and that monster has piercing. So that's actually why I want to have it, because this guy can only attack my if on the field. And the opponent can only set cards. Or not only set cards, but yeah. Probably will set cards, because this guy gets really strong sometimes. Then two level 3 monsters, Dragonist, Wicked, uh, Knight and a Flame Ghost. You, most of the time you go into this guy because it's a dark, but when you need some beater, and uh, yeah, beater like in 1200 attack, you need this guy. Good job. Your level 4 monster is one, Dark Fire Dragon, so the level 4 monster you need. For your level 5, so you got one Dark Ball to the Terrible. Uh, Reaper on the Nightmare and the Fiend Skull Dragon. I think these are the only level 5 monster shoots to the run. And for your level 6s are the one Dark Blade Dragonite. One, two, I missed some card. Ah, here. Two Raya Senshis and a Jamma King. A Jamma King is one of my favorites because you can um, lock your opponent's monster card zones by three. So it's really good. And it's a 3000 defender. And this card can banish shit and this card can negate stuff. So it's good. And it can be um, just shield. For level 7 that you're no never going to make uh, because nobody plays level 7 is the Lost Warrior from another planet. And your level 8 monster which you're sometimes going to make is the Gatling Dragon. Because Black Sword Soldier and this guy are like friends or something like that. So yeah. You could run Cyber Train Dragon, but uh, sometimes I prefer not to use the Cybernetic Revolution set. Because it was likely legal like five months or no, five weeks or something. So nobody actually has any tested or played with those cards. So this was my first throwback Thursday video. Uh, if you want to have any questions or want to see more old of more like this vi these videos, leave in the comments down below so I know I can, can continue with these movies. Um, if you want to see Bartis decklist, uh, let us know in the comments. And um, yeah. This was Sarah John. Rate, comment, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.